Good morning, everybody. We're packing up at Mount Magazine. It's about 28 degrees. Heading to the Dome Life cleanup at Lake Alma today near Fort Smith. But I want to do a quick walk around of the trailer with it set up. Um, like I've said in previous videos, we have uh, some JK Rubicon wheels on 35s got a 35 hundred pound axle from compact camping concepts um, 22 gallon fresh water tank here here's my switch switch panel controls all my ditch lights and rock lights um, power box here that has my disconnect miscellaneous little bags and straps uh, battery disconnects there batteries mounted up on top of the trailer I just recently added the diamond plate in the front to protect the uh, fresh water tank of course I've got the ARB awning we have a brand new awning room that'll zip onto this makes it fully enclosed uh, it's kind of like an annex uh, we've not had a chance to set it up yet it was raining when we came in last night uh, and everything's got ice on it this morning. Uh, these stabilizer jacks I bought from E-Trailer and they'll support 2,700 pounds a piece. So they're kind of my leveling jacks. I can actually use these and jack the trailer off the ground if I had to change a, a tire. Um, we use these rigid boxes to store all of our gear. Um, they interlock stack we've got four to six depending on how long our trips are uh, just recently added, added the propane and this other rigid box here just to keep my hoses and small cordage that kind of stuff of course this awning and the tent rack were also from compact camping concepts um, it's a no weld DIY rack. It basically just bolts together, bolts to the trailer. Uh, I've not had any issues in it. We've, we've traveled, I'd say close to 3,000 miles. Um, some pretty rough roads and everything still seems to be holding, holding well. Uh, and of course the, the awning brackets, they raise, um, they raise up to full, I think seven feet off the ground. So you have plenty of headroom once the awning is deployed. Coming around to the passenger side, I've got my ax and shovel mounted on this side. Uh, fairly new Molly panel that I just installed in the last couple of weeks. Here's my tie down system. I've got different size rings, but it's infinite adjustment. I don't know how many little circles there are per side but you know i can adjust these things every inch inch and a quarter uh along the full length all the way up to my power box up there got those on both sides around here is the tank fill just like a regular rv tank fill there and this is the quick disconnect for the hose connection. Uh, same thing as we had on our last two campers. Pretty cool setup. And I guess that's about it. I've got my Max Coupler here, bolt-on version. I'm thinking about extending this tongue out another 18 inches or so to get a little bit more length so I can put more tongue weight up front and make the trailer a little bit longer. Uh, it was a, a tilt trailer, but I've got it bolted off to make it fixed. So it's a little bit more stable, doesn't rattle as much. And there's the other end of the max coupler there. I believe that's it. Love our, love our rooftop tent.
Thanks for watching, and please like, subscribe, and share.